Now it's time to prime and install the PF2 filter for your Berkey filter system. Step 1 is to wash the outer casing of the PF2 filter. Since these PF2 fluoride and arsenic filters will be sitting in the lower chamber of your system, you want these as clean as possible. These PF2s hook on to the black Berkeys that sit in the upper chamber of your Berkey filter system. These PF2 filters are optional and only required if you are interested in removing fluoride and arsenic from your water. Once fully rinsed, you will be removing the blue blocking plugs from both ends of the PF2 filter. Now take the tan priming button that came with your filters, place it on top of one of the holes, and use that to create a seal against the faucet. The idea here is to push water through the PF2 filter to rinse any manufacturing dust that is collected inside the filter during production. You will want to see water coming out the other end. Do this for approximately one to two minutes. And do it for both sides. Again, make sure you have a good seal that the water is going through the filter. Once completed, your PF2 filters are now primed and ready to install. Do this for both PF2 filters. Take the upper chamber with the black Berkeys installed and you'll be screwing the PF2 filters onto the stem of the black Berkey. You will want the arrow pointing away from the chamber itself. Screw on the PF2s for a total of 8 revolutions and they will be fully installed. You will now place this upper chamber that has the black Berkeys installed and the PF2s on the bottom into the lower chamber and your system is now ready for use. It may also be necessary to discard the first one to three batches of water if the manufacturing dust was not fully washed away during priming.